Adventures, everyone. Prince of the Bear here. We're back at Universal Studios. It's time to mount a return to Finnegan. It's been almost a year since we've been inside Finnegan. I think longer? No, yeah. it's been a year. They we've been slacking. They changed their option. You can no longer get the Wellington, so we're going to see what's new and try the things. Let's go uh, pop it up. Be sure to enjoy the Irish and appreciate and love. You heard the girl. a Jameson drink with Midori, schnapps, and some extras. So it's like a Jamo ginger, but not a sweet Jameson. I don't know, we're, we're, we're gonna see where this goes. Okay, it's decent. It's a little melony, which is what the Midori comes from. I'm not mad at it. I don't think I would proactively come here and get this, but it's a nice, nice dessert drink. I will give it a three and a half out of five. Jameson's. Green tea clover sounds like some weird joke. This one's gonna get a green tea shot slash sipper at Rose and Crown at Epcot all the time. For this to be Jameson and Dory, it feels way off track. It's not even as green. But I guess it's more tea-like. Either way. Mm. It's sweeter. Mm. Midori doesn't hide. Like the pot of gold does. But uh, it's actually quite drinkable. I don't know if I get these all the time because it's so sweet. It's tasty. I'm still gonna give it a three and a half out of five bucks. Here we have the prize fighter with John L. Sullivan whiskey, who was a prize fighting boxer. So the name sort of matches. You have the whiskey, you have sweet and sour. Like a whiskey sour, I guess. Ooh. That is the right amount of tart. Mm. This is right in the soul. So I get my new, my new Finnegan's drink, maybe. Maybe I finally get away from a double drink and ginger. Uh -huh. Start ordering this. Four and a half out of five bucks. It's a prize. This is our beautiful rainbow leprechaun appetizer. Lots of fruits. Somebody decided to put the pineapple by the watermelon. I don't like that. I hope my watermelon doesn't taste like pineapple, but I am going to take the watermelon to save bear. I'm going to try the watermelon first by itself, and then second with the sorbet. So, by itself. It's good, but it's not as fresh tasting as the watermelon that we had at Garden Grill at Epcot for breakfast the other day. Because it's not made in-house. And that's okay. It's like a two and a half out of five watermelons. It's not the greatest. With the sorbet, let's see. Mm. I love the idea of sorbet on fruit. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. It's like cheese and crackers almost. It's like a popsicle with toppings. I'm not mad at it. It's almost like a, a cotton candy, but not. Still not the greatest thing in the world. Maybe like a three and a half out of five fruits. It's not the best, but you know, it's for me. If I commit to my mistake, I'm eating it. We have Irish women in our community, and our Irish women in our community are loyal. Unlike the Brits. The loyal, loyal members of our community. I need you to explain this. Why do I have dessert as a salad before my meal? This is an appetizer. I feel like somebody got this wrong somewhere. Fruit and ice cream for an appetizer. I don't know where you're going with that. Don't you know that sorbet is a palate cleanser? If you're a sweet head. Either way, unlike the princess, technically, technically, this video is not gonna post in Pride Month, but it's still Pride Month. And I'm gonna taste the rainbow. So 
I'm gonna butcher this entire thing. I want all the colors, even the disgusting watermelon. Everything's wrong with me. I don't even know where to start with a question like that. We're gonna dip a little bit of ice cream, or sorbet rather. Taste the rainbow. Actually, you would have done that way? I kinda like it. Oddly enough, the sorbet with like each of the fruits kinda works for me. I just kinda feel like I need more sorbet to consume the watermelon. The rest of these I always eat plain. Watermelon's disgusting. My friends can have all of that. We have four and a half out of five claws. It's just weird and kooky enough for me to like it. Who'd have thought? In some sort of weird plot twist, I'm eating with my hands and Bear is eating with a spoon. This, I guess he's the princess today and I'm the bear. I said I wasn't gonna eat any of it, but I definitely ate about half. Maybe a little bit more. Turn the piece of drop on the table. I didn't eat that. It still has like a, a freezer burn taste to it. Maybe it's just the way they store their Beyond Pitties here. It just tastes extra frozen to me. I think I like the one at Rosen Crown better. I'm gonna give this one a 2.75 out of five shepherd's pies. But I will say that the veggies served with this look way better than the veggies that I had before. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this cabbage. Just cause it's like charred. Mmm. Oh yeah. Got like some onion in there too. That is tasty. At least the veggies have improved. Hot pie not so much. I kind of miss the Wellington of the past. But this is, mm, it's, it's a step down I think. But the burger is still available, so you can get the burger instead of this if you want. 3.75 out of 5 pies. Shepherd's pie has long been one of my favorite dishes. Like favorite favorite. Like in the top three. If you're trying to get to the center of my heart, you're gonna fail. But a good cold try would be shepherd's pie. Now the advent of vegan shepherd's pie, it's sort of a healthier option. It's been a very mixed bag. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's terrible. The king of vegan shepherd's pie, I still think it's Raglan Road to Disney Springs, but I'm always interested to see Universal stuff on it. As it is always, is the use of Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat is an above average meat substitute, alt meat substitute, should I say. But it suffers from not taking well the different seasonings. You can season Beyond Meat. You will have that seasoning flavor on top of the flavor of the Beyond Meat. The Beyond Meat flavor is always there. And it tastes the same in every single thing they make. Depending on what kind of person you are, it's either a good or bad thing. I mean, it's sort of a bad thing. This dish would be so much better with it possible or some other sort of all meat. The one negative to this dish, consistency's fine, gravy is fine, veggies are fine. It's a beyond meat, more than that. A lot. I didn't love the welly, but I think I like it more than this. Three out of five. That's for these side veggies. You have the cabbage, cabbage, the corn, carrots. 
That's for these side carrots and a potato. And still this. A solid roasted veggie. So much that your great grandmother be eating without the, without the effort. The dish is held back by a lot of things. It's like its own worst enemy. Two to have a five plus. We have the shrimp box tea. It is gold shrimp with corn, asparagus, tomato, bacon, and this little thing beneath here is a box tea potato, which sort of reminds me of Blix, aka the Blix Tsunami. If you haven't seen them on TikTok, go check them out. Uh, Netflix show, The Mer Mermaids, Mer, Mer People. Excellent documentary. Something me the person has been addicted to for last week. Don't know why that's related to this food at all. I'm sure the Merle Fork would not have approved of eating their friends. But here we are. So this is another brand new dish here at Finnegan. Uh, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I like the word new, which is the entire reason we got it. So let's go ahead and uh, put on some of the shrimp and the boxed potato. Put like a potato cake. There's supposed to be bacon in here too. I don't see bacon, but I'm sure it's in here somewhere. I trust Universal because they family. The diesel says family. When you wonder what the dish tastes like. You look at it, like it's kind of weird. Think shrimp and grits, but potato and grits. It's like shrimp served on top of like a denser hash brown but very buttery. You get like half of there. It gives me less Irish vibes and more like Louisiana vibes, which makes me wonder if they have their own take on like a boxy potato and shrimp. But the flavor is good. It's not a very large portion, but if you want something light and you're into seafood, specifically shellfish like myself, it's actually kind of good. Four out of five plus. Finnegan, we on Finnegan. I had jam with ginger to go. Of course you did. It's Finnegan's. The shepherd's pie is not improved, but it's just interesting at the very least. I think it's gotten bigger, which is nice, but it still tastes freezer burn. They Beyond need to me. fix the way they store those things. Beyond me, it's just not what it used to be. But like, I, I enjoy Beyond Me in many different varieties, in many different restaurants, in many different locations. This one is the only one that makes every Beyond experience taste freezer burnt. If you like Beyond Meat or don't mind it, you probably won't mind this. Hopefully you get a better batch than we do. If you have some disdain for all meat, for once, I want you guys to tell me how you feel in the comments below. Who am I kidding? You guys tell us every single time. If there's anything else you can see us do, of course, it's always a good place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Whoops. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. And if you comment, Bear might continue to buy cool shirts. Otherwise, I don't know. Maybe he'll just be boring. I'll just wear Roosevelt shirts every day. But you heard the girl.